Can Knit, where me and my sisters teach you how to knit. And yes, by anyone can knit, we mean anyone. From my six-year-old younger sister, Ayla, to your 120-year-old grandma, Martha. Now, let's get started. In this video, I will be teaching you how to make your edges on your knitting nice. So, instead of really bumpy edges, you can get these nice, like, bumpy edges like this. You can get, let's see, here's a good one. More smooth edges like this to where, let's see, I need to get a good angle. You get arrows instead of just random bumps. And it's a lot easier when you're sewing things together so you don't have to like decide on a random loop but you know exactly what loop you're gonna choose. Now we're gonna do the supplies list and then we're gonna get going. <laughs> Okay, so when you're starting your nice edges, I'm going to have you guys already have your knitting ready. So make sure that you have your knitting on your needle and at least one row done. The very first row, you don't need fancy edges because it's basically impossible to do a fancy edge on the first... Fancy edge is weird. I'm going to call it fancy edge. On the first row because the string just tries to pull out of it and it doesn't work that well. So you don't need to worry about doing it on the very first row. Um, I'm not going to be teaching you how to knit. I'm not going to be teaching you how to cast off. I'm not going to be teaching you how to cast on. All I'm teaching you is how to make really nice edges. Um, if you don't know how to cast on, knit, or cast off, feel free to go and look at one of my videos on that. Anyways, yeah. Also, if I'm going to... If I'm going too fast for you, um, please pause the video and um, just catch up with me because I might go too fast for you. I have watched videos myself and I've found that it gets a little bit frustrating when they're going so much further ahead of me and yet I'm still staying behind. But yeah, here we go. So on your fancy, fancy edges, <laughs> on your edges i'm gonna turn around here so you can see we have my yarn ready my working yarn is gonna be here but we're gonna instead of poking behind you only do this on the very first stitch of each row you're gonna poke through opposite direction of the needle as if they're gonna stab each other except they're not gonna and you're gonna stick it in like this and you're gonna pull the loop off and if you're doing garter stitch pull your string to the back but if you're not, and you're purling, just leave it there. For ribbing, whichever thing you're doing first is the one that, whichever stitch you're doing first is the one that you will um, decide which side the yarn should be on for. And then we'll just knit this entire row. This is gonna take me a moment. Whew, I have 20 stitches. Let's see, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, 19, and you don't need to do anything on the last stitch, just the very first stitch of each row, 20. So we're gonna straighten it all down, then we're gonna turn our stick around, and we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna poke this way, so the needles are, both tips are facing each other. We're gonna poke through like this, slide it off, and if you're doing, like me, garter stitch, make sure to put your string in the back. And then just knit that entire row. Yeah. So much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more.